Hey beautiful people, this is Janine Z and welcome to Chic Confidence where you grow in style and grow in confidence. Today I wanted to do a video about spring trends. I'm really excited about the spring trends. I did a lot of fashion show watching. I did a lot of research trying to come up with stuff for this video and the more that I did research, the more things that I saw that were out there, the more excited I got. And so this should be a really good video. Let's get started. I'm grabbing my phone because my notes for this video is on my phone and I have a lot of them. When I'm talking about spring colors, there's three colors that keep popping up over and over and over again. And so I wanted to talk to you about the three colors that I keep seeing over and over again. The first color is this yellow green color. I love this color. It reminds me of high school because Back in the day in high school, there was a season where this color just was popping. And so every time I see this color, it just takes me back there. But it's such a fun color. Right now, for where I'm at in my life, it's something that I'd like to do with accents or I would like a more muted version of this color. But let me show you a few things so you can see what I'm talking about. Colt Gaia has the Shauna platforms. I love these platforms. They are a lime green color. They are metallic around the toe and then around the ankle strap is metallic. The base of this looks like it's, it's definitely not metallic. It looks like a foam base from what I'm looking at, but I don't know what it actually is made out of. These retail for about $548. These are beautiful to me. I think this is a fun shoe to wear. Definitely a little bit edgy, but for someone like me, I would probably be a white shirt and jeans and these shoes in a fun bag and it would be a look just like that just simply Loewe did this with a puzzle bag now I'm someone who really likes the Loewe puzzle bag so if you want to spend Loewe kind of coin Loewe did this bag in that same type of color and that was like a fun pop as well they have a thick strap going across this one and it has Loewe in white letters so if you like the thick strap or even if you like it in a bag think about getting this color in a bag I think that would be a fun pickup. ALC used this color as well and they did it with a asymmetrical one shoulder cut out leather midi dress and I love how they did it because they have a little bit of slight draping on one shoulder then there's pleating coming across. This is a version of a more muted type of limey yellow green so if you don't like the boldness of the coat Gaia one you can go with this more muted color but I think both of them are really great and fun to wear now this is not something that I have available to me in my wardrobe it's not a color so this is one of the colors I will be looking to add into my wardrobe in a bag or a shoe or a purse or a little something because I think it's just a fun addition to have in my wardrobe so when I pick whatever that thing is up I will let you know the next color that we are seeing in fashion is fuchsia pink. Now I feel like fuchsia pink has been on, you know, it's been out since I want to say sometime in fall winter of 2022. So it's been kind of going for a while, but we're seeing it again research this spring and I love how we're doing it. I picked out a few looks that I thought would be really pretty versions of this. Amura is doing it with a pleated skirt. This is called the Sophie pleated skirt. It's a maxi skirt which is also a trend and it's just pleated all the way to the bottom and I just think this is really beautiful. I have two pleated skirts and I honestly feel that I actually like it in maxi even a little bit better than midi because you get such a dramatic flow every time you walk. That drapiness with the shine, I just think it's beautiful. And then another person who I thought had a fun version of a fuchsia is Ghani. They're using this with a loafer, but they're using two pinks. So they have that fuchsia pink and then they have that light pink. So if you really, really love pink and also you like interesting shoes, I think that this would be a fun pickup to get. That light pink with that fuchsia pink as well. So think about incorporating this color in your shoes. Another way to do this is with and other stories and other stories did it in a jumpsuit and so I love this because I'm a jumpsuit type of girl I, I, I just love a one and done and a jumpsuit is a one and done and so I love a jumpsuit and I just like that this one is slightly structured you can see that it's a little bit more poofed on the sleeve so it's a puff sleeve type of jumpsuit has that v-neck detail as well it looks like it ties around the waist but i think this is just a pretty way to add that fuchsia pink into your life if fuchsia pink is your thing 
The final color that I keep seeing in fashion over and over and over again is red. And I love red. Red is actually one of my favorite colors, so I'm glad to see this one. It's actually a color I don't have a lot of, though, so it's something I really need to put in my wardrobe. One of the reds that I saw that I really loved are these Jeffrey Campbell shoes. Now, these are really kind of fun. They're like psychedelic, geometric type of shoe. They have red, orange, and blue. It's a simple slip-on mule, not too high. But I feel like if you wanted a red shoe that had a little bit of fun in it, this would be a fun red shoe to pick up. Another kind of fun red piece to get is these Loewe sunglasses that you see everybody and their mama wearing. But I think it's for a good reason. They're just fun, right? Like if you just want something that's just fun, this is a fun red sunglass. So this will be a fun pickup as well. And then another fun type of thing to get is a bubble dress, which is also trending. Bubble skirts, bubble dresses, these are also trending. But Kika Vargas had this bubble dress. And so if you'd like the little poof at the bottom of the dress and you wanted something a little playful, a little fun, I feel like this would be a beautiful dress to get in red as well. But regardless, most of us have at least one of these colors in our wardrobe. So start pulling those out. And if you don't, if you're someone who's just that neutral, try these in a bag or a shoe or or a piece of jewelry just in small accents and it'll just add a little bit of fun to your life now the next trend that we're seeing is crochet now crochet to me is kind of comes with spring every year I don't really consider this a trend but if you want to talk about interesting ways we're doing it in 2023 I have some to talk about so the first one that I wanted to talk about is the way Chloe is doing the woody mini crochet tote bag this is a typical beige color crochet bag it has some brown trimming black stitched in chloe it's just a fun little bag it's tiny i'm sure they make a bigger one but it's tiny kind of rectangular easy bag i think it's really cute to add a little bit of pop a little bit of interest a little bit of fun to your wardrobe so if you're looking for like a tiny bag i'm not a mini bag person but if you're looking for a tiny bag that's one now this bag is more my vibe for a crochet bag and this one is from isabel morant i love this one this is a crochet clutch bag the top of the clutch is leather trim i really appreciate that because your hands can touch it and you won't have to like destroy the very light colored crochet because I don't think this bag would be incredibly easy to clean. And then the back of the bag has some gold studding on the back of the bag. So that makes this bag a bit interesting as well. So something like this I love. The next kind of thing that I saw is this Zimmerman top. Now I love this Zimmerman top. I love the cap sleeve that is kind of frilled. This is called the Anique Crochet Cotton Halter Top. So that's what it is. But I just think this is just a vibe. Very classic but elevated classic so it's just it's just good and so seeing this uh, I absolutely love this definitely be looking into picking up one of these because when I want to do crochet I want to do it well and then another bag that I thought was just wonderful was this one by Nanushka oh this is such a good bag it is just a large leather tote so you can't go wrong with a tote and the crochet is in the stitching of it on that beige color part of it that's the crochet so 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 good in my opinion this is practical it's a large leather tote or faux leather because i don't know if nanushka actually does leather i feel like everything they do is like really high quality faux leather but i believe this is a faux leather tote i just think it's just really fun really interesting really practical doesn't look like it's going to get destroyed i feel like the crochet is going all the way to the corner but it's not at the bottom so you can actually sit it down and not destroy the bag and also this bag folds up into a small simple to pack square and so i think that that makes this bag a really good like thing to keep your eye on and the last thing that i'm going to mention is another thing that came from chloe this is the kayla crochet loafer and so i would not be bold enough to wear this because i would be worried about keeping this clean but if that is not your concern this is such a vibe so a crochet in a loafer i think it's something that would be interesting but if you want to do crochet in a shoe girl go ahead rock it i think it will look fabulous i don't trust myself with it but i think it will look fabulous 
Now the next category that I wanted to talk about is leather. And the first one I wanted to start off with was the Flow Leather Jacket by Veronica Beard. This leather jacket is absolutely beautiful. I love it because it is weaved. It looks like it's weaved to where their holes are showing throughout the jacket, I guess causing air flow, like the name suggests. I love the color of it. It has a three quarter sleeve. I just feel like this is a very practical way to wear a leather jacket when the temperature is warmer. So if you have the coin for this, I would hop on this because this is just so, 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 so good. Free People has this Hollis studded harness the girl who is wearing it has it on with a black top i don't really like this with a black top i think it doesn't do anything for the actual harness but if you put this harness on with white or really anything that's not a super dark color or any color that pops so a pastel a bright color or white i feel like that would be so sick this could be styled so many different ways it's such an interesting piece and it's such a great way to incorporate your leather into your warmer months and then the final piece that I wanted to show you is this leather dress from Chloe. It's basically a leather slip dress, but it has embroidered detail so and some cutout detail as well. I just think that this is so unique, so stunning, so beautiful, and just an interesting way to do leather. So as we're going into spring, you just keep a uh, look out for some interesting ways to wear leather. Also, I know we have leather in our closet, and so for the pieces that are a little bit not too hot, depending on what kind of spring you have, pull it out, keep wearing it, keep styling it in fun ways. I think you'll be kind of surprised by what you can do with leather even when it's starting to get a little bit warmer. And of course, when it's cool at night, just go throw on your standard leather jacket, those things still work. So you would have to be living under a rock to not know that cargos are trending right now. In a, they're trending hard. And at first, I wasn't sure, but the more I see them, the more I love them. And there are a few particular ones that really just have caught my eye, so let's talk about them. I like these ones from A Gold, and I feel like the reason I like them is the color. This is a dark, almost like army green, but darker color. I just really love how this one looks, especially against this woman's skin. It has two large pockets on the side, pockets that you could put your hand in and a back kind of cargo style pocket. I just feel like this would be a very comfortable piece to wear for spring, summer, goes with anything. You could wear with a crop top like her, a tank top, a blazer and heels. I feel like this is just a really just good color pant to style and just like a very comfortable pant to wear. The next pair of cargos that really caught my attention are these ones from Sakai. Sakai has the pleated maxi skirt. I love this. I think that this skirt is really, really beautiful. This is also a green color, so I might just be drawn to green right now. But it's a standard pleated maxi skirt, but there's cargo pockets on the side. So it's like a very feminine way to wear a cargo look. And so I just think that's nice for a little bit of interest. And then Hycor had these cargo denim shorts. They have two cargo pockets on the side and then you see there are too many ones in the front. I feel like this would look really good with some kind of buttoned up. Some little sandals as well to go with this. Some strappy sandals. I feel like that would be such a good look to wear. And so I love these shorts. And that would be my three cargo style clothing that I find interesting that I would even be willing to spend my coin on. And so those are the three that I have on the radar. The next thing I'm going to talk about is denim. Denim is not something that goes out of style. We all have denim in our closet, but denim is really being worn in a lot of interesting ways this upcoming spring summer season. And so I wanted to talk about the ones that I think was really good. I feel like the piece of denim that we're seeing most is the denim maxi skirt and i like this particular one from free people it is called the come as you are fray hem denim and i think the reason that i particularly am drawn to this skirt is because the 
bottom of the skirt is very wide, meaning that it's not going to be a stiff denim that's going to be difficult to walk on, meaning that it'll look good with sandals, it will look good with sneakers, it will look good with some of everything. It's pocket, so that's nice. There's actual pockets in the denim, but and I think it's a really good color. But the main thing to me is that it's not a denim that's cut close to the body. That was my husband. Now Diesel had two denim pieces that I love. Diesel is, I feel like, killing denim this year. But there's just two ones that I feel were my vibe. They have the D Kitty MI heeled mules. I think that these mules are just fabulous. I want them. I want them. They are so good. And I just feel like they are interesting denim. Even the outfit she has on in the picture, that's fire. I love these shoes. I just... I just love these shoes. I think they're such a good pair of shoes. And they also have this diesel faded and quilted denim handbag. The shape is so good. I was watching their runway show for this bag and I just kept thinking like, I love that shape. They have a bunch of good bags they're dropping this season with that kind of, I don't know what the shape is called, but with a similar shape. And I love how that shape just looks as you walk it's so good and this particular bag if i hadn't gotten the bag from Kara, which i absolutely love glad i'm got this would be a second because this bag is bomb another bag that i just wanted to mention as an honorable mention is the and other stories leather trim denim tote first of all it's leather trimmed in a neutral color so that's really nice but i even like how the denim is, is a kind of crisscross denim this bag is under a hundred dollars and i just find like this is such a beautiful interesting way to wear a denim as well i feel like it's good but we see it all the time we're seeing it in crop tops we're seeing it in mini skirts we're seeing it on wide leg pants we're seeing it in boyfriend pants we're seeing them in jacket style multiple different ways so try denim on denim looks and just have fun with it because there's so many options right now for them. Well, beautiful people, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun recording it. I had fun prepping for it because like I said, I got to see so many different things and there was so much I want to try. And so I hope that this video does two things. The first thing is inspire you to go into your wardrobe, pull out similar pieces, pull out things that have been sitting for a while, dust them off and figure out ways to rework them into your wardrobe. The second thing is inspire your creativity. So if you find things that catch your eye, catch your attention, you pick it up, you use your creativity and you come up with something fresh, new that you absolutely love to wear. And you know, it'll be a worthy purchase. Again, I am Janine Z and I hope you grew chicly and with confidence today. You guys have an amazing day. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel and I will post on Instagram and TikTok as well if you want more daily content. You guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.